IOM, the International Organization for Migration, works to ensure that people affected by crises can access protection and assistance. When we do so, we follow IOM's principles for humanitarian action. There are many different contexts which call for a humanitarian response, such as natural disasters which are increasingly a cause of population movements, or human-made disasters such as conflicts or generalized violence that can induce displacement. But too often conflicts developed into protracted situations. Finally, more and more visible is the issue of large-scale migration flows that can trigger a crisis. All these crises have in common that they generate complex population movements. IOM has coined the term migration crisis to characterize this reality. Populations affected can include displaced persons, migrants and affected communities. Too often, these people are particularly vulnerable to neglect, discrimination, abuse and exploitation. Therefore, protection is at the heart of IOM's humanitarian action. To better assist and protect those in need, we abide by the core humanitarian principles. Neutrality. If they take sides, humanitarian workers imperil their mission and risk losing access to populations in need. Independence. To be able to carry out our mission, we must be independent from political or financial influence. Impartiality. There can be no discrimination of any kind in humanitarian action where only need dictates who gets help. Our response must give priority to the most vulnerable with no regard for sex, age, social class, religion or ethnic allegiance. Neutrality, independence and impartiality help to ensure our adherence to the principle of humanity. They help guarantee that we can, even in the most challenging circumstances, uphold the humanitarian imperative of saving lives and reducing human suffering. We know that only a humane response that empowers people and enables them to live with dignity will make for resilient communities. This is what we do when we provide humanitarian protection and assistance. But crisis response does not stop with humanitarian action. Longer-term transitional and developmental interventions are required if we want to progressively resolve displacement situations. We're accountable to affected populations by ensuring their participation and addressing their complaints. We're also accountable to the states concerned, our donors and the Interagency Standing Committee which coordinates humanitarian partners. Let's not forget that we do not act alone. We engage with all those who can help make a difference local authorities, international or national civil society organizations, the private sector, diaspora organization, or the academia. But we do so based on the principles of partnership. To find out more about IOM's Principles for Humanitarian Action, please visit our website.